Hi. Today we are going to see one more topic in Oracle real time scenarios. That is how to view the last record. Okay. How to view the last record added to the table. Here we are going to take the same example that is employee table and I'm going to tell how we are going to get the last record. Here we are going to use the row number. I think you are familiar with the row number and row ID. Already have I explained about the row number and row ID. So there is no need to explain the concepts once again. Just go through that video. Here, if you see the last record is a Miller. How to get this record? Okay. First, you have to sort it based on the row number, that is descending wise. Then we have to use the row number and get the last record. Here we are going to use where row number is a less than two. Okay. We are able to get the last record. Okay. This is the way we have to fetch the last record. And we are going to see one more SQL that is using class. The interview they will be asking what is using class and give one example. The main purpose of the using class is to specify with the column. You have to use using within the bracket, you have to specify the column name, specify with the column to test for equality when two tables are joined. Suppose we are having two tables, employee and department. So we are joining the two tables, employee and department, by using one common column. Without the common column, we cannot join the tables. Normally, we will be having one common column. Here, we are having department number as the common column. So I am going to join the employee and department by using this department number. What is the syntax is, we are going to select star from EMP join in department using department number then two tables will be joined based on the department number i will show the example now let's start from emp join department using department number it will join both the tables and will fetch the result okay here we are able to get all the result So this is the using class and set operators. I think you are familiar with the set operators. Set operators, there are four set operators, union, union all, intersect and minus. Union, distinct roads selected by either query. That means we can use this set operators only after the execution of the uh, SQL. That means we can use on the results of the SQL, okay? For example, select star from EMP and select star from some other table, it will, we will be joining the results, not the tables. You should understand. We are not going to join the tables. We are going to combine the results, okay? Union means distinct rows selected by either query. That means it will select 
the distinct rows from the table. That means it will filter out the duplicates. Union null means it will select all the rows by either query, including the duplicates. Intersect means all distinct rows selected by both the queries. Okay. I will explain the, all these things in a separate video. I will provide the link in the description. You can click and see it. Otherwise, you can uh, subscribe my channel and if you go through the video, the video is available. I will explain in detail about uni, uni, and all intersect and minus. Intersect is all distinct rows selected with both the queries and minus is all distinct selected by first query. So these are all the set operators. And I will be explaining some more SQLs in the coming video. Thanks. Bye.